Hello Leo, welcome to your monthly reading for December. I hope everyone is doing really well and staying safe. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for the month ahead. This is a general reading, so please take what messages resonate for you and leave what doesn't. And be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how spirit speaks directly to you. So you may notice a message, an image on one of the cards that really resonates for you. That is a direct message from spirit. It's not something to ignore. This is how spirit brings through direct messages for you. So let's take a look at your first card. This one here, it is an affirmation card. Let's take a look at the message. Keep good company, read good books, love good things and cultivate soul and body as faithfully as you can. That's a beautiful message. I see a focus around the company that you keep, your friends, the people that live in your household. And I'm seeing that there is a reflection on this. I see there may be an issue around one of these relationships, perhaps, because you're wanting to get in alignment. You're wanting to be on point with your true self. Your honesty is going to shine through. Your honesty with self is going to shine through this month. So if something is out of balance, it's going to come to the forefront of your mind. Cultivating your lifestyle is what I'm seeing here. Reading, loving the good things in your life, doing what makes you happy. Perhaps a new hobby or an interest is going to capture your attention. What you feel passionate about, Leo, whether that is a person, whether that is um, an interest, um, something that you have a burning desire to pursue, you'll know what spirit is talking about here for you. This energy, burning passion within your heart. I feel that energy getting stronger in the month of December. I feel you taking some action toward your desire this month. And the message here on the card says, take 10 minutes out of your day to read. So it may be reading, it may be writing, it may be phoning a friend, it may be going for a walk, it may be meditating. Take time for you. And as an affirmation card, there you're going to find, I do sense you're going to find, uh, come into your awareness, uh, perhaps through reading or in other means, an affirmation that truly resonates for you, um, for you this month. And it's going to be once you recognize that affirmation and maybe around this type of energy, what the card is talking about it might be about something else more specific in your life the affirmation but whatever it is and and however it turns up be sure to use it because it is going to have a powerful effect affirmations this month are in fact for you going to bring through results even more so than they have previously in your life so true manifestations can come through because of these affirmations. So just keep that in the back of your mind, Leo. Surrender to this miracle coming through, which is that, that affirmation, that intention of wanting to bring through something to manifest. Magic is truly happening in your life this month in that regard so that's beautiful so just keep that in the back of your mind and keep a lookout for affirmations uh, to work with that really resonate for your situation 
Let's see with this deck of cards. We have the dog, so you may have a pet dog, or perhaps you're adopting a dog. Let go of guilt and love unconditionally. So there's a sense, there's a feeling, there's an emotion that you need to release and allow the energy of unconditional love into your heart. You'll know what spirit is talking about here for you. It may be guilt, it may be shame, it may be frustration. You'll know what spirit is talking about. There's no need to hold on to that energy any longer. It's about allowing unconditional love into your life. And one more card here, let's see. It's the owl, which is a beautiful sign. The owl is about inner wisdom. So follow your intuition and your inner wisdom because it's going to lead you in the right direction. And it says on this card, use your inner and outer eyes and ears and you will really see, you will really see what's going on. You will really see the magic happening in your life. You will see what it is you need to see. And it's going to be different, of course, for everyone. Use your inner and your outer eyes. So we have that using your intuition with what is going on, what you are seeing around you in your life, in relationships, and in your life in general. So powerful energy of the owl coming through for you Leo you will be able to see the magic happen in your life this month if you trust and see with your inner vision as well as what's happening in your circumstances this card here is yours the first quarter moon in Sagittarius Believe in your good luck. So there is a belief, there is a having faith, having a belief that this in fact is going to happen. You're going to have the good luck that you desire in the area of life that you need it. And you will, you will have this good luck. You will have great fortune. But having a belief in it, having an inner knowing is going to serve you so well. It's in fact going to bring through the manifestation in a faster, quicker, more swift way. And one more card here for Leo. Let's see, Leo. First quarter moon in Capricorn. Unleash your kindest self. Now, I feel this energy is resonating with the dog energy. Unleash your kindest self to others, but also it's speaking of your internal landscape. Let go of guilt or this emotion, this sense of something going on within emotionally. So you can allow this unconditional love to, to flow through into your life. I'm also receiving the message right now for someone that you have or will have a devoted, loyal friend, partner, someone coming into your life or they may be around you already. You'll have to use your intuition for this one. Being represented by the dog. And that represents, it does represent friendship, but even in love and other relationship, it's about loyalty, faithfulness. And so I see that person in your life or coming in soon for you. Let's take a look at this deck of cards for Leo, please, spirit. Guidance for Leo. All right, this one here wants to come through. And we have several cards that have fallen out, but I don't feel that they are for you. It's this one here. And this one here. Let's take a look at these messages. 
luck is on your side new moon in Sagittarius so we have that energy twice and when spirit brings through a message twice it certainly is in your life there's a confirmation here spirit is confirming to you that good fortune and luck in your life is here throughout the month of December beautiful I'm also seeing with this image with the archer's bow that if you have a direct you can have a direct influence in what is manifested this month for you maintain focus and have a powerful strive forward powerfully because you will hit your target with the arrow and luck is on your side to help you achieve this outcome so place that energy in your life where it fits for you let's see what this card has to say the answers you need are coming and that's a wonderful card to receive with the owl because the owl is about insight and so it is confirming that the answers that you need to perhaps make a decision or move forward or to take a leap of faith or to move toward your target or your goal or to provide healing for you the answers no matter what that is they are coming beautiful let's take a look at this deck of cards for Leo please spirit guidance for Leo guidance for Leo center card and the card surrounding surrounding it let's take a look at this center card here it is the hangman but the hangman is reversed so this often represents a breakthrough when things have been stagnant a breakthrough when you haven't known which way to turn things have been stagnant perhaps you've been sacrificing certain luxuries or things in your life thing there's no has been no communication with someone when it's reversed it does represent that those things are going to start to fall away and you'll have a breakthrough in the area of life that has not been moving ahead you may also be preoccupied with an internal battle inability to make sense of problems due to a lack of insight pressure from society and others is overwhelming so you may be feeling that heaviness weighing on you do not rely on logical solutions the best solution may be unorthodox so keep that in mind there may be an unorthodox out of the box creative solution your effort may be wasted on a project may represent a favorable legal decision also so one or many of these energies may resonate for you but just take what feels right for you and leave what doesn't the ten of pentacles a wonderful card to receive it does mean financially and materially in your life there's going to be a gain and if you have been working toward long-term goals financially work-wise materially in your life it's going to pay off and there's security here for you inheritance of a gift or money affluence and importance material success security achieved through conventional wealth building methods invest in the stock market buy real estate plan for long-term gain not quick returns this is a long-term card 
seek a permanent job that will serve your ultimate career goals. Because if you are pursuing that, you will be successful in that. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles and it is reversed. Now, this may be a masculine, male, perhaps energy under 30 who is shy and self-involved. This person may embrace new ideas and trends. He is somewhat materialistic and makes rash decisions. He is prone to making mistakes and argues over minor points. He is neither trustworthy nor respected because there's an immaturity here. There's a learning that needs to take place. He will pass through your life without changing it. So this may resonate for you on the level of an individual coming into your life, being present in your life. But these energies may also resonate for you on an internal level. So you'll have to use your intuition to see what spirit is talking about here for you. It also means that um, I'm just receiving a message from spirit that um, that a message, news, an announcement, some form of communication has not come through and it's been stagnant. So in fact, I'm going to turn over this card to see whether there's going to be a breakthrough in terms of this communication. And the five of swords, it does look like with the reversed five of swords that there's going to be a win-win whereas the upright five of swords can mean there is someone who wants to win over you there's a winner there's a loser it's still uncertain whether you're going to have communication with this person or this job perhaps or whoever it is or whatever organization this is for you there is uncertainty but it's not a no it's not a no so let's take a look at this card here it may be a masculine energy that you're waiting on in terms of communication now this indicates a a man or a masculine energy over 40 consummate deal maker and risk taker smooth talker sophisticated and successful this person gives generously devoted to civic religious or philanthropic activities affectionate hard-working chases the trappings of success including expensive cars a nice home, toys, and nice clothing. Now, this may represent an earth sign around you because it's pentacles. May represent just um, whether they're an earth sign or not, someone around you in your life that is um, represented by these energies. The energy for you with the King of Pentacles is strength financially, materially. You're going to get what is owed to you. You're going to build wealth, success and health. This can also indicate health and well-being and relationships. So with these two cards, a very strong earth energy, a very strong earth energy here material things now this card here let's see what it says the outcome to your problems is uncertain and may not make you happy this card represents a loss of nerve indecision weakness inability to adapt to change and a retreat into stereotypical thinking Others take advantage of you. Putting work above your own needs will hurt you in the long run. So if any of those energies resonate, there is some caution in here with this card. Powerful energy is coming through this month for you, Leo. I hope some of the energies here resonated for you and that spirit spoke to you directly. 
If you did like the reading, you can click the like button or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. It's such a huge help. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so very much. Have a fantastic month, Leo. Stay blessed and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.